what we're here today to talk about is the, is the product of struggle, uh, a, a movement of families and activists, people of faith, labor unions, community organizations coming together and, and fighting and struggling for some basic human rights and dignity in our country. And, and last night, we had a victory. Um, so by extending relief and work authorization to an estimated four million people, the Obama administration will help prevent unscrupulous employers from using unprecedented workers uh, to drive down wages and conditions for all workers in our country. And although this fix will be temporary, it will allow millions of people to live and work without fear and afford them the status to assert their rights on the job. We welcome this action because it's going to give the opportunity to move out of the shadows. It's going to give the opportunity for some stability where there has not been stability and where children will be able to be confident and secure that when they come home from school, they don't have to fear that mom or dad will never come back again because they've been taken. The treatment of immigrants is a core religious value. To welcome the stranger is to welcome a child of God. In the New Testament, Jesus tells us to welcome the stranger, just as you did it to one of the least of these, you did it to me. As it happens, there are many Protestant and Roman Catholic churches, congregations, where these very words will be quoted this coming Sunday. The text was appointed a long time ago, but it will be read this very Sunday. In Leviticus, in the Jewish scriptures, when a foreigner resides among you in your land, do not mistreat them. The foreigner residing among you must be treated as your native born. Love them as yourself, for you were foreigners in Egypt. I am the Lord your God. For all of our brothers and sisters who come to America to do what our forefathers did, whether they came through the Atlantic or the Pacific, they came here to contribute to this great society and to add to our great culture and to be part of this beautiful experiment that we know as the United States of America. So thank you very much for being here.